My new favorite fragrance is in this list. I have got five new fragrances, a couple that have actually just been released and arrived on my desk like in the last week. And then a few others that have been out for a little bit of time. But I think all five of these are perfect for these sort of fall or autumn months. Um, I'll link them all down below, give you prices, where to buy them. Also, if you're new here, hi, I'm Robin. This is Man From Self. Please do press subscribe right now. Okay, the first one I've got is by Jo Loves. Jo Loves is Jo Malone. Uh, jo Malone had the Jo Malone brand that she set up, then she left that brand, she sold it, and then she created Jo Loves. What I really enjoy about Jo Loves fragrances is that I feel like she doesn't just have one type of fragrance DNA. She really does push it and she tries new things. And this one is certainly like that. Jo Loves can do the, uh, the light, the floral, the whimsical, the fruity, but she can also do these really heavy hitting scents. Jo Loves Amber Lime and Bergamot. This to me, when I first smelled this, I thought this was like one of those candied boiled sweets that's got a really fizzy center in it. You know, it's got a tough exterior, but the center is just fizzing, it's effervescent, it's moving. And that's that lime in this. There's something which has uh, like substance and grinding with suede, uh, but these sort of lime and bergamot notes just are really quite playful and fun. I think this is a beautiful scent for autumn because I think it's got energy, but I think it's also got this depth, which I really enjoy. This actually makes me think of like a, a more energetic, fruity, sweeter version of Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. Ombre Leather is actually one of my like all time favorites. It's a go to for me. And this one just feels like it's almost like the cousin to that. You know, it feels like they've got similarities, but this one is just a little cheekier and wants to have a bit more fun. I really love it. It's maybe not something I'd wear absolutely every day, but if I want to provide the movement, I want to provide the energy to a scent, and I want those beautiful, um, lively citrus notes with something which is more grounded in that suede, then I would certainly think about this. My next one is one that actually, I think, it actually is. It's, it's a brand new favorite for me. This is from the new Liberty range. This is Zephyrine. Liberty have launched five new fragrances. I did work with them on a piece on Instagram, full disclosure. But this one I just am obsessed with. This is called Zephyrine. Now Zephyrine takes inspiration from the print on this. It's called Eden's Awakening and it's all about going into this like fantastical world of flora and fauna and like I imagine like little animals that are just gonna stop and talk to you. There's figs on the trees, there's beautiful roses. And it's just this world of fantasy. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous because there's a fig note in this, a really beautiful creamy fig. There's also patchouli, so it gives you this earthiness to it. And then again, we've got a suede note. I love suede. Soft leather that smells creamy, that smells premium, and just wears so well on the skin. The guy who made this, so when Liberty created these five new fragrances, it's actually on my, on my blog, on my website, manfromself.com. I'll give you links, uh, loads of fragrances on there and reviews. They went out to market to like some of the world's biggest perfumers and said, hey, look at these as mood boards. So different prints from Liberty. We want you to create some fragrances. And the guy that's created this is called Frank Vocal. He's the guy that created the Labo Santo 33 and also Glossier U. Those two fragrances have that familiarity, that cocooning warmth. And this one does exactly the same thing. It gives me like the best sort of Sunday vibes. Patisserie, messy hair, coffee, just like beautiful big duvet that is just sitting across you. I love this and it's beautiful on the skin. The fig, the dewy rosy notes, the patchouli, the cedar wood, the suede. It just really is perfection, I think. I've been wearing this so much since I got this and it is one of those ones I think will become a heavy rotation for me. It feels so comfortable, so comforting. And I really do think like this is gonna be one of the like the biggest successes for them in this. And um, these are exclusive to Liberty. They're also, I believe, gonna do discovery sets. So I'll give you all the links down below in the description. It just means you can try each of these five as smaller ones before you commit. Um, okay, next I'm gonna give you one that I wasn't such a fan of. This is Molten Brown, Wild Mint and Lavender. Now this was released like last month. It arrived on the desk, I'd have been spraying it. I don't know if I was in a bad mood. I don't know if I just wasn't, mm, something wasn't gelling with me. I still 
don't love it, but it's certainly not an awful release, I should say that. And I do think that so many of you guys will love this. I'll tell you why I'm not too keen on it, but I'm gonna tell you why you will like it and you can make up your own mind. Um, now, Wild Mint, I was wanting something quite punchy, uh, something uh, really fresh, something open, energetic. And I always think like with certain types of mint, it can feel comforting. And I paired with lavender, so a type of lavender, you're gonna have this warmth, this really beautiful, almost like sleepy sort of scent. And that's what I was excited about. Now, I didn't get all of that with this. If anything, I think the mint is slightly flatter. Now, the plus side to that is, it's actually more wearable. And I think that so many of you that don't want a shouty scent, I like a shouty scent, I want something to say, hi, I'm here. But for those of you that want a premium smelling scent that just smells good on the skin, it smells crisp, it smells inviting and accessible, this actually could be a really great option for you. Normally when I go for Molten Brown fragrances, I like the Recharge Black Pepper. It's an absolute beautiful one. It's one of their heroes. Uh, they've also got a Pink Pepper one. They have a Russian Leather, which I believe has changed its name. Um, there's just like, also the, the Rose June, June Rose is so gorgeous. So I tend to go for these slightly more head turning scents when it comes to Molten Brown. I know from the video I did on Instagram, some of you said, actually, I've been in the store and I absolutely love it. So I am not the Messiah when it comes to fragrance. My nose is my nose, your nose is your nose. So do go into a Molten Brown and try them and also try out some of my favorites, link down below. Okay, the next one is a baller. It's a baller and it's expensive. This is Electimus Gladiator Oud and it's 300 pounds. Three, sorry, 395 pounds Gladiator Oud by Electimus. I kind of salute brands like this that just know who their customer are and they say, we're gonna go for it. This is heavy, this is oudy, it's spicy, there's saffron, there's cumin, there's ambergris, there's patchouli, there's oud. It is heavy and I'll tell you something, the times I've worn this, you need one spray and it lasts all day. That is like a huge selling point. So 395 pounds, but this is gonna wear forever. Like this room is gonna absolutely stink. If you're an Oud fan, if you want a fragrance that says, I own the most expensive fragrance on earth, then you will love this. This is supposed to take inspiration from the gladiators of Roman times. Of Roman times? Yeah, of Roman times. And um, I think of like gladiators as like hot, sexy, sweaty, I like blood everywhere and uh, but with this, you're getting that sort of more like fantasy beauty side of it. It smells smoky, it smells heavy, it smells grounded, it smells powerful, it smells strong. That real sort of um, like glamorized version, I suppose, of, of gladiators that were. Um, it is incredible, incredible because it just is this punch in the face of so much oud, so much power, the smokiness, uh, like all, all the stuff. Um, would I wear this personally? I think me five years ago when I wanted to wear like the heaviest of ouds, once actually when I, you might have heard this story, once when I was on an airplane and I was wearing a nude fragrance, I think it might have been a Killian oud, and um, Royal oud, I wanna say, and the woman next to me said, what are you wearing? It is far too heavy. Um, I think this could give this, but again, I do think some of you are gonna love this. This for me will be those days where it is so cold outside, I'm wearing just a beautiful overcoat and I'm gonna go one spritz, one spritz, and I'm gonna waft. I am just gonna absolutely waft through the park. Commendable, heavy, expensive. That bottle is just insane. But um, well done, well done, well done, Electimus. Um, yeah, you've certainly created quite a something. And um, there is three from this whole Gladiator zone. So check them out. Okay, final one. And um, we've gone from like strong Gladiator to what I'm gonna say is a softer type of oud. A softer oud, but still a beautiful oud. This is Kay Alley's Oudgasm Tobacco at number four. Uh, oudgasm. I had to look this up. So this is by uh, Monica Tan. I covered one of the fragrances before and I didn't love it, I think because I didn't really understand the brand. But the more I've got to know this brand, the more I really have quite a lot of respect for this. Um, I love that 
this brand knows its customer, it knows who's going for this, and they just create fragrances that tick every one of these boxes. They've got the notes on the back, they've got these really decadent bottles. I don't have to pretend that I know what's in this. And um, Mandarin, white honey, geranium, vanilla, tobacco, and oud. The dry down is very much with a smoky oud, but not a really heavy tobacco, um, but a tobacco that's actually quite clean. It's really clean wearing. There's a lot of these sort of fruity notes in this. It makes me actually think, when I first sprayed this, I was like, what am I getting? Like there's a DNA of something I've smelt before. It makes me think of um, Bitter Peach by Tom Ford, if you know that. Something which uh, smells ever so slightly synthetic, but has this almost like candied quality to it. That's the Mandarin. It's Mandarin and it's honey, which, I actually quite enjoy, like again, this is one of these ones that I think I'm gonna to have to be in the mood for, but when I wear this, I, like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. It feels kind of like evening, playtime, maybe go out for a drink. And actually I think it is, I think it's a good launch. Um, the Mandarin and the sort of honeyed notes does sort of die down, which for me is pretty good. And actually what you're left with is something which is a lot deeper and slightly animalic on the skin. I actually think this is a really great launch and there's other ones in this whole Oudgasm collection. I need to tell you what she said about Oudgasm because when I read this, I thought this was insane. She said, I named the collection Oudgasm because I wanted something that was just as bold as the juices themselves. Uh, Mona is very much in on the joke and I absolutely love that. Praise be to Mona. Um, but there's one which is, uh, there's a cafe oud, tobacco oud, rose oud, and I'm gonna forget the other one. Uh, there's another one, let me know, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I enjoy this. I'm actually quite excited to try the other ones from K Alley. I saw that they had them in H Beauty and I saw the type of custom around that and I just was like, yeah, okay, she's nailed it. She's absolutely nailed it. But there you go, uh, five, which I think are really great, maybe not so great, something for everyone in here. Um, I will link them down below. If you're still new here and you're still not press subscribe, then hey, come on, please do press subscribe right now. Um, also, my website, manfromstuff.com, and I sign up to my newsletter, okay? Uh, but until my next new video, bye-bye. <laughs>